Green Teacher now, so we're back with a tier list video. This time we are ranking all the current revealed Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as of mid-October 2022. I'm not expecting any new Pokemon to be revealed uh, prior to the game's release, so we're going to rank all of the Pokemon that we have seen so far. So if you like this kind of video, or if you want to have a go at making this tier list yourself, uh, there will be a link to this tier list down in the description below. But yep, let's give this a go, and of course, let's have some fun. Uh, of course, bear in mind, this is my opinion, and you're welcome to have a different opinion to me. But yep, we are going to go rank all of these Pokemon, and we're going to start with the starters. Um... So, I actually am in a bit of a dilemma because I actually like all three of the starters uh, going into this generation, which is something that hasn't really happened for a while. Um, usually with the starters, it always feels like one of them gets shafted. Uh, but I think, honestly, this this generation, it looks promising. Obviously, we don't know anything about their evolutions. We don't know anything about that. We've only seen the starters, which I actually am a huge fan of. Uh, I don't want to reveal see the starter evolutions. But looking at base design, Fuecoco is definitely the best of the three. Um, I think it has the most interesting design. Uh, there's a lot more variations to it. It is not just simply a crocodile. It's a crocodile that looks like a chili pepper, um, which is pretty awesome. Really like his design, really looking forward to see what it evolves into. The others less so. Obviously, we've seen cat and duck Pokemon before, but they are still really well designed. Uh, they do look really interesting. But again, we'll have to know more whether they evolve um, and what they evolve into. Obviously, Sprigatito is a bit of a high gamble. Uh, because we have seen cat Pokemon frequently evolve into bipedal animals, which I really hope is not the case for Sprigatito. Uh, I hope it remains quadruped. But we know what the Pokemon company and Game Freak are like. Um, they tend to let us down, so have to be pretty pretty subconscious. Sprigatito might go down if its evolution is bad, but we shall see. Fido. Uh, I'm indifferent to Fido. Um, it is a fairy type, obviously, which is nice. That is my favorite typing in the game. Um, its design is pretty nice, but I do prefer Yampa's design if we're looking at uh, dog Pokemon um, of recent times. I think Yampa is a better design than Fido. Uh, if Fido evolves, then I'll be down for it, but um, it doesn't appear here too impressive. It does have own tempo, which is not a bad ability, but uh, we don't know too much about it um, other than the fact that it's there. Uh, it's an alright Pokemon. Uh, it definitely looks like it's um, more for the uh, cute people fans as opposed to the competitive players, uh, but we shall see. It may have good stats. You never quite know. So Titan, kind of the same boat, uh, pretty indifferent to it. With it being an ice type, it isn't really that great. It does have Thick Fat and Slush Rush, which are pretty good abilities. Um, but again, with it being ice, it's a pretty bad typing. Uh, but it does look pretty interesting. Uh, if it's got good stats, if it's got a good move pool, uh, it might actually be fun to use in a playthrough to give it a tryout. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of how its mouth opens. Uh, that's probably the biggest design flaw of it, but uh, it looks pretty interesting. Uh, we'll have to see what it's like in game, obviously, because bear in mind, with all of these Pokemon that have been revealed, uh, we pretty much know their types and we know their abilities, and that's pretty much it. We've got no movesets, no anything like that. Uh, we don't have base stats or anything like that to go on. So we're pretty much speculating at this point. Uh, so that's going to be the main draw of this. Uh, Palmy is C tier to me. Um, it's all right. Um, I will point out I don't really hate any designs uh, that we've revealed so far. I just think some are slightly weaker than others. And I think Palmy as Pika Clone's goal is probably one of the weakest we've seen in a while. Um, it's an okay design. Uh, I just don't vibe with it that much. Um does have static and natural cure as an ability, which is pretty interesting. Um, but again, we need to see what stats it has. We need to see hey, anything else, what moves it kind of gets for it to be uh, a little bit more interesting. But as it's a Pika clone, it might evolve. It might not. Recent Pika clones haven't. So uh, we'll be interesting to see where Palmy goes. Um, but I am somewhat indifferent towards it right, right now. It's kind of weaker than the others so far. Smolev, I love the name of it, 
but I really am not a huge fan of normal grass as a typing. Uh, I think it's a pretty mediocre typing in general. Uh, it has the early bird ability as well, which uh, you can't actually put a grass type to sleep with sleep powder, so early bird really just doesn't do much. Uh, obviously, this thing's going to evolve. Um, it has to evolve into something genuinely brilliant for it to actually be good. Um, but yeah, Smoliv is pretty much name, and I like the design of it. It's somewhat, but again, in terms of how I would want it, or what I would want it for, it definitely feels like a way weaker design than Sprigatito. Lechonk, um, uh, whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, the Lechonk, really good design. Uh, I definitely think probably one of the best, um, early root Pokemon that we've seen in a long time. Uh, interestingly that it has a Roma Veil as an ability, which is previously only given to fairy types. Is that a hint that it's a normal fairy type evolution? Maybe, but we have Fido, so I don't know if they would do that. Um, but it looks like a really cool Pokemon. I think we all, we all know that Lechonk is a great design. Um, I think we all like it. And as Route 1 normal types go, We've not really had many good ones. Uh, obviously, the Linoon line is really good. Um, and then, like, we don't really have much after that. Um, so, it's nice to see a good early game normal type. Hopefully, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of surprised it doesn't have Thick Fat as an ability. Uh, it has a Roma Veil and Gluttony. Uh, maybe it gets Thick Fat when it evolves. Who knows? Um, maybe Thick Fat's a hidden ability. Uh, we don't know, but... Uh, looks like a cool Pokemon. Definitely might have to ha add it to my team just to see what it does. Uh, see how cool it is. But definitely one of my favorite designs so far. Alright, next we go to Box Arts. And I have to be honest, and I was one of the first people that uh, I think pretty much said that I didn't really feel like these were Box Art Legendaries. Um, I'm not a big fan of Coridon. I like Maridon a little bit more. Um... But um, I honestly, like, their designs are okay. Uh, they are passable for me as designs. Obviously, it's going to be interesting to see what their stats are. We do get them early as well, which is kind of a little bit off-putting for me. Um, so I don't really know what to expect from it, whether it's actually going to be good, whether it's not going to be good. Um, we obviously don't know too much about stats or anything like that. We do know their typings, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, although I don't think they've actually fully been confirmed. Um, but I know they're both dragon type, which is interesting for lizard Pokemon as usual. I think one is dragon electric, the other is dragon fighting. Um, I think the past one is dragon fighting, the future one's dragon electric. I think that's what has generally been concern confirmed. I'm looking at Cerebi right now and they don't have the confirmed typings on it, so um, it's possible they don't. I'm going to quickly check the uh, Pokemon official website, um, and we'll, we'll see if um, they have the confirmed typings on. Just quickly have a check, and uh, let's see, Coridon. I can't remember how to spell it. Uh, looks like the Pokemon website doesn't have it either. Okay. Uh, so we don't have any typings yet, um, which is interesting considering how far along we are. Um, but yeah, design-wise, I definitely like the future form better than the past one. But and Wooper, uh, actually pretty cool. I like it. Um, probably a tier. Uh, poison ground with water absorb. Very interesting typing. Uh, very interesting ability as well. Uh, what this thing evolves into could be interesting. Uh, people have told me that it's leaked that it doesn't evolve into Quagsire. It evolves into something else. Uh, but again, that's not being confirmed. So we'll take that with a grain of salt. But I think it could be good. Uh, if it if it is just Powder and Quagsire, I'm still not going to be against that. I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, poison Ground is definitely a typing I don't see very often. Uh, I'm trying to think is there's another Poison Ground type. Uh, nothing really comes to mind. But, um, oh, Nido King, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, in terms of, like, typing, it's pretty interesting. It's Wooper as well. Wooper's a pretty good Pokemon. I like Wooper a lot. So, definitely going to be interesting. Uh, and we'll see what happens with that one's design. All right, Cyclazar. Um, 
I'm kind of in the same boat as I am with Koridon with Cyclozar. It's like, it's a nice design, but it doesn't really do anything for me in terms of like, does it jump out at me as a Pokemon that I would absolutely want on my team? No. Uh, obviously, it is considered to be the pre-evolution to the box arts. It is a Dragon Normal type, has the Shed Skin ability, uh, which is not the greatest ability in the world. But I'm pretty sure we get this for free anyway. So um, it'll probably still just be a Pokemon that we all use uh, to evolve it. So it's our ride Pokemon as we go around, go around the Paldea region. But yeah, design-wise, not that sold on it. Grifai, this one has a very interesting typing. Uh, Poison Normal is a unique typing. I actually really like this thing's design a lot. I think it's definitely one of my favorite designs. Um, has the abilities Unburden and Poison Touch, which are Unburden especially is a pretty interesting um, ability for this thing. Uh, what I will be interested to see in is what this thing's stats are. Um, it could be good could be good um uh, but we'll have to see this one the one definitely has to we have to know its stats i don't think this thing will evolve i think it's just going to be paldea's answer to smeargle and stuff like that cackleon things like that um so it will have to have really good stats um but we shall see uh i think it's a cool design though it's a really cool concept i like it a lot all right cloth I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of sick and tired of seeing crab Pokemon. Um, and as much as I really like uh, crab Pokemon in general, I've kind of had enough with it. It's disappointing that it's a rock type as well. Um, um, but the only thing that is interesting to me about it is it has a new ability called Anger Shell, um, which I don't actually even know what that does. I can't remember off the top of my head or if that's actually been revealed. Um, but it does have a new ability, which could be good. But I'm just kind of done with crap Pokemon. I gotta be honest. Uh, we've had quite a few of them over the years, and I don't really want any more. So, Cloth is definitely the weakest um, of the design so far. Alright, next we get to Armor Rouge and Serilege. Um, I gotta be honest, I'm not much of a fan of these either. Um, Ah, uh, it's difficult, right? We've seen so many fire psychic types in the world. Um, but I gotta be honest, I do like them more than cloth. So I think they will just be at the bottom end of C tier. They don't feel like Pokemon to me. Um, that's the thing. They feel like Mega Man characters or Digimon. They don't really feel like Pokemon to me. Uh, but again, we don't necessarily know too much about them. What's interesting is both of them have the ability Flash Fire. Um, which... Fire immunity is pretty nice to have in the game, but again, they are fire types themselves, so they already resist fire moves, so Flash Fire is not the greatest. Um, but who knows? They might grow on me, but right now they just don't really do much for me. Their designs are not my cup of tea, personally. Wiglet. So, Wiglet. I'm indifferent to Wiglet's actual design itself. Um, but I actually do like what Wiglet represents. Obviously, previously in Pokemon, historically, we've only had Divergent Evolution, i.e. regional variants, uh, much like Powder and Wooper. So this is an interesting foray for Pokemon to go with Convergent Evolution. So we actually have a new form of Diglett, but I was indifferent to Diglett's design, so I'm somewhat indifferent to Wiglet as well. Uh, be interesting if this thing evolves and what it evolves into. Uh, lots of people have been memeing about Work Trio, which I think is pretty funny. Um, it's a water type, I believe, uh, which is pretty interesting. Not water ground. Has the gooey and rattled abilities. Um, again, not much of a fan of either of those abilities, uh, especially on a Pokemon that is evidently going to be pretty frail if it has similar stats to Diglett. Diglett is very frail, pretty easy to knock out. So uh, I don't know. Don't know quite how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, definitely somewhat indifferent. Ferrigiraf. Uh, it's nice to see Giraffe Rig getting um, an evolution. Uh, it has definitely needed one. It was pretty mediocre back in Generation 2. Um, I actually like this thing. I think this thing is all right. Um, it'll be interesting to see what kind of stats it has. Um, Giraffe Rig has pretty solid attack, special attack and speed, and pretty mediocre everything else. Uh, its new abilities, Cut you and Armatail, look very exciting. Um, 
Pikachu especially could be really, really interesting in doubles, uh, particularly when you pair it up with like a Citrus Berry. It basically consumes it um, at the end of your first turn and it consumes it again at the end of the next turn. So if it has some durability, if it's survivable, then it could be really, really interesting uh, how well this thing could be used. I uh, kind of like the whole like tail takes over the head style design. Uh, actually quite a fan of it. Uh, it is kind of a little bit sad it retains normal psychic type. Uh, I would have liked to have seen it perhaps being psychic and dark. Um, as kind of like the darkness taking over the normal side. Uh, but nonetheless, normal psychic, pretty interesting. Uh, two new abilities that could be exciting. Uh, we will see. And last but by no means least is Bellabolt. Bellabolt, um, probably just ahead of Quaxley. For me, in terms of its design, I think it's a really, really interesting design. I kind of hate how it was revealed. I didn't really like the Aono trailers uh, all that much, to be honest with you. Uh, but I actually think this thing is really interesting. Uh, obviously, we've seen a lot of uh, frog-based Pokemon before as well, which is kind of interesting. But the thing that kind of draws my attention to this Pokemon is not only the somewhat endearing design, but also its ability, Electromorphosis. Uh, Electromorphosis basically gives you a free um, double boost on your electric type move. Um, once you get hit by an attack. This thing looks like it'll be a pretty slow Pokemon as well, so I think it's got plenty of opportunities to take advantage of that ability, um, which I think could be really, really exciting. Definitely want to try it out and see how good it is. Electric is a pretty good typing with only one weakness, uh, which is ground, uh, so it could be very, very exciting to use it. So I definitely want to see how this thing works. Obviously, um, it is... Uh, purely dependent on stats, um, which is the case for a lot of these Pokemon. But yeah, I think that is what we've got for Bellable. I think it's going to be really interesting to see. Uh, could be really, really strong. If it's got pretty mediocre offensive stats, then Electromorphosis may be necessary. Things like a Zomarill Huge Power comes to mind where it needs Huge Power to be strong uh, since it has base 50 attack and stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to see if that's how they go with Bellable as well. But I really like Bellable's design. But that's my tier list so far. That is what we... That is my opinions on all of the reveal Pokemon Hun from Generation 9. Of course, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.